Here's an article I just uh, saw about Chris Pratt on men's health. And I'm going to start with this quote. Um, he says, maybe it was hubris for me to stand up on the stage and say the things that I said. I'm not sure I touched anybody, he offers. And he gets why people were put off. Religion has been oppressive as F-word expletive for a long time. He says, as we walk over a tiny footbridge, the word spilling out in an emotional tidal wave. I didn't know that I would kind of become the face of religion when really I'm not a religious person. I think there's a distinction between being religious and adhering to the customs created by man, oftentimes appropriating the awe reserved for who I believe is a very real God, and using it to control people, to take money from people, to abuse children, to steal land, to justify hatred, whatever it is. The evil that's in the heart of every single man has glommed on the back of religion and come along for the ride. So this is a shame point to the word. I want to continue on with what he's been saying. Um, you know, Chris Pratt is a very, you know, famous person. I don't, you know, follow entertainment much, but, um, yeah, I'm aware of who he is and stuff. So he is separating himself hardcore from Hillsong, as we're about to find out. Say what you will about Chris Pratt, the article continues. But these are big ideas he's openly wrestling with, and it's something I can't imagine another celebrity in his shoes saying. The situation wasn't helped by Pratt's alleged association with the celebrity church Hillsong, whose official policies contain what can generously be called non-LGBTQ-affirming statements. After Pratt uh, casually talked about his faith with Stephen Colbert in 2019, the actor Elliot Page uh, called him out. Pratt issued a statement at the time, uh, quote, it has recently been suggested that I belong to a church which hates a certain group of people and is infamously, infamously anti-LGBTQ. Nothing could be further from the truth. I'm a man who believes that everyone is entitled to love who they um, want free from the judgment of their own fellow man, or of their fellow man. What he didn't say then, and what he tells me now, is I never went to Hillsong. I've never actually been to Hillsong. I don't know anyone from that church. Okay, why not say that at the time? So they're asking a question, which I feel is a good question. Uh, now he's going to quote, I'm going to like throw a church under the bus, he replies, before reconsidering. Um, if it's like the Westboro Baptist Church, that's different. No one's suggesting that. But he could have, you know, read up on Hillsong uh, and then, person continues, Pratt tells me he attends Zoe Church, but I'm not sure the distinction will satisfy his critics. Zoe, also popular with celebrities like uh, Justin and Haley Bieber, was founded by Pastor Chad Veach. Uh, he executive produced a 2017 film that equated sexual brokenness with same-sex attraction. Pratt also mentions that he doesn't go to Zoe exclusively, but it came time for, or I'm sorry, when it came time for Lila to be Baptized, he and his wife chose a normie uh, Catholic church in Santa Monica where, where she worshipped as a kid. So I kind of find that interesting how early on he said that, you know, um, he doesn't believe in, you know, uh, you know, the God that, you know, uh, you know, justifies hatred and abuses children, yet he says that, you know, they baptize their kid and you know, Catholic Church in Santa Monica. So I'll wrap it up there. Uh, hope you guys enjoy my other videos. Have a good day.